Let's examine a data interpretation question together. In this problem, we're given a table with some information. We're also given a bar graph. We're going to need both to solve this question here. Let's be very specific as to what we're solving for first. We want to know which of the following answer choices could be the new total of Friday balcony tickets sold. Note, our answer choices say indicate all possible answers, meaning there's more, there, there might be more than one possible answer here. So knowing that, let's just start with this. We know that the Friday balcony sales double as a result, or more than double as a result. Well, let's just start to see, well, what are the Friday balcony sales as of right now? Right now, there's $12 per ticket, and on Friday in the balcony, they sold around 50, exactly 50 tickets. So for the amount of money earned right now, it's going to be 50 tickets at $12 per ticket, and that's going to equal $600. As of right now, they're bringing in $600 in ticket sales. To more than double, it means we're going to get more than $1,200 in sales with the new decreased price. Well, if the price was originally $12 and they're decreasing the price by 20%, well, what we want to do is say, well, $12, what we want to do is take $12, decrease it by 20% or multiply it by 0.8, and what we're going to get is this equals $9.60 per ticket after the decrease. Since we know the ticket is $9.60, that means $9.60 times n tickets has to be greater than $1,200. So n has to be greater than 1,200 divided by 9.6. Since n is greater than 125, we have to choose answer choices E and F, since both of those are greater than 125. Remember for these data interpretation questions, you're going to have to move easily between the information you're given in charts or graphs and the information you're given in the question stem. 